All right. If Tony had to write for the history books three top stories of Chinese example of BTF getting after it, what would they be? Just give me one. <laughs> give me one. Oh my God! Everything, everything. There's is, so many good examples. There's so there. many good ones. Um, it's hard to say just one guy, you know, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm one time when me and uh, Dauber did that like thousand yard center peel. <laughs> that was pretty hard to contain that it didn't bother me. That was hard, man. I mean, that was that was pretty hard. Like, I mean, this is a tactic with two guys. There's two of us bringing up the rear. This this extraction, you know. Actually, yeah, it wasn't extraction because it was by foot. Otherwise, it would have been an exfiltration. But we kind of took up the rear. We started, like, covering, moving. And them guys were just on a dead run. But we had to stop, go, stop, mm-hmm. go, for about, like, a mile or whatever. <laughs> it was just terrible. <laughs> I mean, I was sweating like a teamster, man. I mean, I was just... And, of course, it was, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. Ugh. And it's, like, 110 degrees out. That was That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. But I remember getting back to the old days with that. I mean, we didn't save ETF back then. But we used to do some horrendous humps. You know, humping to the civilian world means like marching, not marching, but patrolling. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like, Boots. you look at the map, and we don't we we didn't patrol in the day. So it'd be like, all right, it gets dark at like 1900. I'm going to move out about 1930. And it gets, then we're going to stop at about 05. Yep. And we got to cover, I don't know, 40 clicks. Yeah. All right, let's go. And your 100-pound rucksack, you're like, really? Okay, let's go. And you think, oh, I couldn't have been a plumber or something. Oh, no, I had to be a team guy. <laughs> I couldn't have been, like, went to college. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you were, you were kind of talking about this earlier, but uh, I remember times where you guys be out in the field for two or three days and meanwhile while you're in the field we're spinning up another operation course, finding yeah. out another target for a direct action mission and you guys would get back and you'd be like hey man we got a target for you you're rolling out in two hours so and you know you just go to your guys and be like all right guys change your gear yep, you're heading out and you were loading vehicles in an hour and 30 minutes and you see guys just turn and burn yep yeah nobody said oh really <laughs> Say, no just do it you know and yeah, my whole that that platoon that I had on that deployment. I mean, them guys BTF'd. I mean, especially like the sisters' kids. Those guys were, you know, we had the new guys, we had the older guys, and then we had the middle guys. You know, and you know, you know, Spaz and uh, yeah. Squirrel and Chucky. Those guys and Rex. Those guys were badass, man. For sure. For sure. I mean, they just they didn't. They were the meat kind of of the platoon and they were the ones that like had to do like most of the work mm-hmm. you know the new guys helped them and the other th- older guys were more of leadership positions yeah and they still work too but these guys worked and they just like yeah roger that and just got after it good dudes and day I, after day i after guarantee day after day after day i guarantee all them guys I and mean, i couldn't keep up with everyone after i retired i guarantee all of them guys are doing well in their careers because they're fantastic. I I do see them, and they are all kicking ass. Roger that. That's good for sure. 